Welcome back. Well, today we're back to the mill, checking out the vices. Um, after some interesting discussion with Holzmichel and figuring out some calculations, um, I found out my first attempt was wrong, but the second appears to be right. So today we're going to verify that this small vise applies more pressure to the jaws than the big one with the same torque on the spindle. This is because this got a 3mm lead screw and this got a 4mm lead screw, so the ratio is different. We have a load cell which is calibrated, uh, probably about plus minus 20 kilograms, I couldn't do it better in that short time. Um, I had to reduce the torque from 60 to 40 because this is only a 500 kilogram load cell and I don't want to destroy it. So what we're going to do, we apply some torque, actually 40 Newton meters, the moment we are on zero, and we're reading kilograms so we need to calculate that to uh, Newtons, which we do later. And I'm slowly increasing the pressure because load cells are generally soft because they, they're going to bend. So you shouldn't do that in a rush. I'm expecting about 440 kilograms-ish, uh, 390, 400, 407 kilograms. So let's try that again. Repeats back to zero, that's fine. Make sure it sits flush here. I had to remove, I had to remove the rear. Uh, Sure, because it is otherwise I couldn't fit it here so so this is round about 410 kilos make it 410 kilos at uh, 40 Newton meters which looks good to me yeah, let's do that again It's about 410, which is around about um, 4,000 Newton. So that proves that the calculation was correct. The second calculation was correct once I, once I have applied pi, because I forgot actually to think about pi, because the spindle is obviously round. Um, so let's do the other one and see what comes out of that one. 410 kilos is 4,020 Newton, which corresponds about which what, I, what I've what I've seen before, uh, considering that we're now 20 Newton meters down. Obviously, there is some uncertainty here. There's some uncertainty in the torque wrench. There is some uncertainty in the friction of the, the, the vise and obviously some, in, some uncertainty here. I had to put some parallels underneath because the otherwise the spindle hits the load cell here. I don't move the torque wrench, I'll let, just leave it as it is. So we need to get that over. I already applied some pressure. It should return to almost zero, so that's 200 grams. I'm happy with that offset, uh, considering what we're measuring here. So we should see uh, roughly 350 eventually. That's what I'm thinking. Between 300 and 350 kilos. Huh? 
just under 300. We're going to all that. You could feel on that low, that low throat the the vice is actually snapping because it's it's not oiled. So just to eliminate that. Put some oil down there. Hopefully that makes it better. Yeah, it feels a bit better now. Sixty. Thirty to forty. It's a bit harder to deal with that one because it's just you know what? Because oh, well, we've proven already the ratio makes a difference. The problem is as soon as I crank the vise, it's binding somewhere. What I could do is actually trying some bolts here. stop the wise from binding. Let's see what you got. I was expecting near 300 actually. Sorry I'm hitting the tripod now. I'm still on 40. Okay that makes it better. Three sixty, that's more like it. Let's try again. Call it three forty. I think that's a fairly repeatable result here. Somewhere between three twenty and three forty. I think the problem is the as soon as there is a, a certain pressure applied it's binding on the dovetail so if we interpolate that resu result to uh, our 60 newton meters before we are ending with uh, 4.7 kilonewton that's what I just figured out so I think we're not far out here 300 newton is, is just uh, 30 kilograms and that e that's easily in the friction here so at least we've proven the mats are correct and the assumption that the different lead screws make a big difference so funny enough you need to crank the bigger vise even further than the small one because it applies less pressure so let's do that again It's somewhere between 320 and 340 kilograms. Three volts is, well, one volt is 100 kilograms. Just in case someone is wondering what the figures mean here. Um, yeah, and, and the load cell is only rated for 500 kilograms, so I can't actually crank it any further. Uh, I think that concludes the scientific approach here don't know what else to say about that but uh, <laughs> it's actually surprising so always always check the lead of your spindle on the on the on the vise 
uh, you might see some surprises. I put the maths and the numbers down in the description, just in case I talk some garbage here. Um, I verify that again, and uh, so maybe it's for some use for someone, or not. Sometimes I just like to do the scientific way because uh, it gives you at least a confirmation that your maths are correct and uh, or your assumptions whatever you do sometimes you just eyeball some figures and, and it turns out to be right or wrong who knows i would be interested to hear what's the pitch on bigger vices or smaller vices i also would be very interested to see a chinese one uh, with respect to deflection when someone watched it carefully uh, you have, may have noticed there are a few newtons missing that is probably the friction in the spindle uh, it's not so much because a vice just runs against a more or less solid end so except this one which may need a little bit of oil uh, to get a bit more repeatable results because we, we always we had about plus minus 20 kilograms there Yeah, sometimes I like to do it the scientific way just because we can do it or we have the kit or have access to the kit. Uh, it's just good fun. I like it. Thanks to one of our workshop guys who gave me one of these load cells. We could do that experiment because I don't have one with that rating. So I think that's it for today. Don't want to spend much more time on that. But uh, every day is a learning day. Feel free to jump in and do your own tests, assumptions, whatever. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.